Hello everyone, welcome to the Mechanical Studies. In my previous videos, we have studied various forms of energy and energy interactions. In this video, we will see relationship between them which is obtained by the application of first law of thermodynamics. Remember this is very important topic in this segment. So please do watch this video till the end. Now first law of thermodynamics is basically conservation of energy principle that provides the relationship between the various forms of energy and energy interactions like heat and work. First law tells us that the heat and mechanical work are mutually interchangeable or convertible. So if we look at the statement of conservation of energy principle, it states that energy can be neither created nor destroyed during a process. It can only change forms. Now when we say energy is conserved, what it means exactly to a physical system? Let's consider here a system that involves energy transfer in and out across the system boundaries. So here energy entering into the system will be represented as E in and energy leaving the system represented as E out. Now this energy transfer causes change in total energy of the system that is delta E. So from the conservation of energy principle we can say here that the net change increase or decrease in the total energy of the system during a process is equal to the difference between the total energy entering and the total energy leaving the system during that process. This is what simply means conservation of energy. It can be formulated like this. That means here energy entering the system that is represented by E in minus energy leaving the system that is E out this will be equal to change in total energy of the system that is delta E and this expression is called as energy balance which is applicable to any kind of system undergoing any kind of process. Now see here the left hand side of this energy balance is actually energy transfer associated with that system whereas the right hand side is energy change of the system. Okay, I will go through these terms quickly for better understanding here. First energy transfer that is E in and E out is because of energy interactions like heat, work and energy transfer by mass E m. Thus here net energy transfer across the system will be written as E in minus E out. This will be equal to net heat interactions that is Q in minus Q out plus net work interactions that will be W in minus W out and net energy transfer by mass. So that can be written as E m in minus E m out. Okay. So this is what the net energy transfer through the system. On the another side, change in total energy of the system delta E can be written as we have seen this in my previous videos delta E will be equal to change in internal energy plus change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy. Now in case of closed systems which are considered as stationary systems they experience no change in kinetic energy as well as potential energy. So we can write change in kinetic energy is equal to change in potential energy is equal to zero here. Thus for 
closed systems change in total energy becomes equal to change in internal energy delta e will be equal to delta u here thus when we make energy balance by considering these energy transfer and energy change of the system we get the final expressions of the first law of thermodynamics here i will introduce you final expressions of first law applicable to cycle as well as process in case of both closed system and open system you can find their detailed explanation in my upcoming videos so please do watch those videos so first law when it is applied to cycle it gives an expression which is cyclic integral of del q is equal to cyclic integral of del w this is a differential form of the first law applied to cycle in generalized form this can be written as q net is equal to w net means here net heat and net work interactions over the entire cycle remains same or for multiple heat and work transfers we can write this as summation q is equal to summation of w so first law applied to cycle also tells us that algebraic sum of heat and work interactions remains zero now please note here very important points q net here represents net heat input transferred into the system and w net represents net work output that is obtained or delivered by the system now we will see first law expressions when applied to process in case of closed system first law gives expression which is q net minus w net is equal to delta u remember here the q net and w net are net heat input and net work output here all the quantities are expressed in kilojoule as those are total quantities so first law when applied to a closed system undergoing a process tells us that a system undergoes a change heat and work interaction takes place and net energy within the system is stored in the form of internal energy in most of the textbooks this suffix net is not used and first law expressions are provided like q minus w is equal to delta u or this will be written as q is equal to delta u plus w so please remember here though the suffix net not used in this case the q and w represents net heat and work transfers across the system in case of open system first law gives an expression which is q dot minus w dot is equal to m dot into bracket h plus v square by 2 plus gz at outlet minus h plus v square by 2 plus gz at inlet here out suffix out and in represents outlet and inlet of open systems or control volumes remember here heat work and mass transfers across the system are expressed here in terms of rate forms since the open system involves transfer of heat work and mass over the period of time across the control volumes so all terms here will have unit kilowatt okay this equation is called as steady flow energy equation steady flow energy equation so these are the final expressions of the first law of thermodynamics applied to cycle as well as process in case of both closed system and open system you will need these equations while solving numericals you can find the detailed treatment of this first law of thermodynamics to closed system as well as open system in my upcoming videos named energy analysis of closed system and energy analysis of 
control volumes. So please do watch those videos for more understanding. Thank you.